This is the house I have been in my entire life. Mm -hmm. In her entire life, all 18 years of it, Tavi Gevinson has already been a fashion icon at age 12, an internet publisher at age 15, and a film actress at age 17. I just want to consume everything. You just want to consume everything? Yeah. Her room in her parents' suburban home in Oak Park, Illinois, is a cacophony of influences. Everything from Barbie dolls to J.D. Salinger books to 45 RPM records. Her collection includes Frank Sinatra. I'm just a hoarder, basically. What you're really making here is an episode of Hoarders. Sorry. <laughs> but the week we visit, Gevinson's packing up her room to move to New York and the bright lights of Broadway. How long have you been rehearsing? We started rehearsals in mid-May. This September, she's starring in the play, This Is Our Youth. What you're like now has nothing to do with what you're going to be like. Like right now, you're all like this rich little pot smoking burnout rebel. But 10 years from now, you're going to be like a plastic surgeon reminiscing about how wild you used to be. When the Steppenwolf Theater opened its production in Chicago this summer, the Chicago Tribune wrote, Tavi Gevinson gives a luminous performance that could easily make her the Broadway it girl of next season. You've never been in, involved in anything quite this big before. No. How does that feel? It's wild, but I can't really even like let myself think about it because then coming in here is like much scarier. Mm -hmm. I just have to be like, we're just playing on the best playground ever, so yeah. <laughs> She was just 11 when she began posting her avant-garde thoughts about fashion online. This is my dad's office. Right. He's a retired English teacher. Uh-huh. He... <laughs> he has an English teacher's desk. Yeah, and also a, my manager's desk. And I, when I started my blog, I used his computer. Her self-portraits, many shot in her backyard, caught the attention of top designers and fashion editors like Vogue's Anna Wintour. And she was invited to Fashion Week in New York and in Paris. What prompted you to start the blog? Middle school is hard. I think at the end of sixth grade, I was like, you know, I'd been rejected by that group. I didn't fit into this group. So it was kind of like, well, I can just have this hobby to myself. And by dressing this way, I'm completely exempting myself from even being ranked in the comparisons in middle school. That's really interesting because, I mean, so many kids in middle school and even high school want to dress like everybody else so they feel included. It wasn't even like, oh, I want to stand out. It was just like, I don't even want to have to think about being compared to that girl or who's prettier or like, I'm just, I just need to have no peer. At school, she was teased, but not deterred. Was it girls or was it guys? Guys. It was guys. Guys who couldn't understand why you weren't, like, trying to impress them. Like, one time this kid who had a locker next to mine was like, your dress looks like a curtain, and it seemed to just make him so angry. So I was just like, just you wait, I'll wear a tutu tomorrow. Like, it was just, it was a game. It was really fun. In high school, she launched the website Rookie, a kind of cultural headquarters for teenage girls that won her legions of fans. You weren't afraid to be ambitious. I, th I was at first, and I still am every day a little bit because we don't live in a world that uh, is necessarily uh, really like encouraging for uh, young women to be ambitious or to mm -hmm. be confident or take what is yours. She also began auditioning for films, landing a role in Enough Said, starring the late James Gandolfini and Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Come on. What? We're not buying the same dress, I'm Mom. I'm not gonna wear it at the same time as you. Did you look stupid? How old were you when you, when you got interested in, in theater? And what got you interested in theater? It's how I was raised. I mean, when I was two, my sister would put curlers in my hair and like teach me Shirley Temple song. Like it was just really part of our home. But home and high school are behind her now. At New York's Court Theater in This Is Our Youth, she'll be starring with Kieran Culkin and Michael Sarah as three friends grappling with growing up. And, um, the way you act 
and all your most passionately held beliefs are all going to be completely different, and it's really depressing. You wanted this part badly. Yes. Why? Um, <laughs> well, obviously I think a lot about youth <laughs> and about this time in a person's life and what makes it so interesting and strange and bittersweet. Well, let me find those emails. She has a quarter of a million Twitter followers and from her new apartment will continue to edit Rookie. But Tavi Gevinson has graduated. The teenage fashion icon is now a New York cover girl. You're on Broadway. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I mean, yes, but also, like, I have to do my job and think of, like, I can't be up here and think, like, I'm on Broadway. Like, but has there been a kind of pinch me moment for you? Absolutely. Yeah. In my whole life. <laughs> like, but it's not a complex response because it's not a complex thing. It's just wonderful. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs>